Here, the elementary trading algorithms obtained from the smoothed versions of the base indicator are described. Throughout Trading Conceiver, the notation MA stands for Moving Average, and the Moving Average used in the computation is selected in the Indicators tab in the pane as MA use. The trading algorithms derived from the smoothed versions of the base indicator are divided into further subsections. Moving Average, Indicator versus Exponential Moving Average, Indicator versus Moving Average, Fast Exponential Moving Average versus Slow Exponential Moving Average, Fast Moving Average versus Slow Moving Average. The elementary trading algorithms derived from the moving average of the base indicator are the following. Smoothed base indicator greater than threshold. This algorithm checks whether the moving average of the base indicator is greater than a threshold that is a particular value input by the user. So the algorithm is true if and only if the moving average of the base indicator is strictly greater than the threshold. Smoothed base indicator positive. This algorithm checks whether the moving average of the base indicator is positive, so the algorithm is true if and only if the moving average of the base indicator is greater than zero. Smoothed base indicator less than threshold. This algorithm checks whether the moving average of the base indicator is less than a threshold, that is a particular value input by the user, so the algorithm is true if and only if the moving average of the base indicator is less than the threshold. Smoothed base indicator negative. This algorithm checks whether the moving average of the base indicator is negative, so the algorithm is true if and only if the moving average of the base indicator is less than zero. Smoothed base indicator between thresholds. This algorithm checks whether the moving average of the base indicator is between two thresholds, that is, two particular values input by the user, so the algorithm is true if and only if the moving average of the base indicator is greater than the lower threshold and less than the upper threshold. The elementary trading algorithms derived from the comparison of the base indicator with its exponential moving average are the following. Base indicator greater than exponential moving average. This algorithm checks whether the base indicator is greater than its EMA, so the algorithm is true if and only if the base indicator is greater than the EMA of the base indicator. Base indicator less than EMA. This algorithm checks whether the base indicator is less than its EMA, so this algorithm is true if and only if the base indicator is less than the EMA of the base indicator. The elementary trading algorithms derived from the comparison of the base indicator with its moving average are the following. Base indicator greater than moving average. This algorithm checks whether the base indicator is greater than its moving average, so the algorithm is true if and only if the base indicator is greater than the moving average of the base indicator. Base indicator less than moving average. This algorithm checks whether the base indicator is less than its moving average, so the algorithm is true if and only if the base indicator is less than the moving average of the base indicator. The elementary trading algorithms derived from the comparison of two exponential moving averages of the base indicator are the following. Fast exponential moving average greater than slow exponential moving average. This algorithm checks whether the fast exponential moving average of the base indicator is greater than the slow exponential moving average. So the algorithm is true if and only if the fast exponential moving average of the base indicator is greater than the slow exponential moving average of the base indicator. Fast exponential moving average less than slow exponential moving average. This algorithm checks whether the fast EMA of the base indicator is less than the slow EMA. So the algorithm is true if and only if the fast EMA of the base indicator is less than the slow EMA of the base indicator. The elementary trading algorithms derived from the comparison of two moving averages of the base indicator are the following. Fast moving average greater than slow moving average. This algorithm checks whether the fast MA of the base indicator is greater than the slow MA. So the algorithm is true if and only if the fast MA of the base indicator is greater than the slow MA of the base indicator. Fast MA less than slow MA. This algorithm checks whether the fast MA of the base indicator is less than the slow MA. So the algorithm is true if and only if the fast MA of the base indicator is less than the slow MA of the base indicator.
All the five algorithms in the MA section are analogous to the ones of the base indicator explained in the previous chapter, so you can refer to that chapter for examples. Using the smoothed version of them has the advantage that the curve is more regular and for instance whipsaw signals can be avoided. A classic of trading theory is to go long when the price goes above its exponential moving average. The rationale here is that if the price is higher than usual, it is a sign of a strong market. You can do something similar by getting any overlay and to check whether it is above its EMA. For instance, pick up the typical price. Put the typical price greater than EMA algorithm in the long tab. If we run the simulation, we can check where the typical price is above its EMA. If you want to verify whether this classic theory is wise, select the typical price less than EMA in the short tab. Run the simulation of this trading system and check out the results. Try different look-back periods. The case greater than MA is exactly like this last example, but you can select the moving average used here. For indicators like the negative volume index or the positive volume index, the most important signals according to the literature are given by the crossing of the indicator with its exponential moving average. You can easily implement this strategy by selecting, for instance, negative volume index greater than EMA in the long tab and the negative volume index less than EMA in the short tab. This is another classic in trading theory. Go long when the fast EMA of the price goes above the slow EMA. This is the EMA crossing. You can easily implement this strategy by selecting in the long tab the EMA fast EMA greater than slow EMA algorithm. That is, fast EMA applied to the EMA of the price greater than the slow EMA applied to the EMA of the price. By setting EMA lookback 1, it is as if you are not applying the EMA and so are getting what the EMA is applied to, that is the price. So you are actually applying the fast and slow EMAs to the price. And then for instance, fast EMA look back 12, slow EMA look back 26. Incidentally, this is equivalent to checking when the MACD is positive. The algorithm is true where the fast EMA is greater than the slow EMA. If you want to check whether these precepts taught by many authors are sound, you can select the dual algorithm in the short tab, EMA fast EMA less than slow EMA, and check out the results of such simple trading system. Try different look-back periods. If you want to apply the SMA crossing, where you go long when the fast SMA crosses above the slow SMA and go short when the fast SMA crosses below the slow SMA, you can act similarly to the previous example. In the indicators tab, select SMA use SMA. Then select the EMA fast MA greater than slow MA algorithm in the long tab with EMA look back 1 fast MA look back 12, slow MA look back 26, and the EMA fast MA less than slow MA in the short tab, with the same or different input parameters.